Many home remedies can help relieve back pain, including stretching and exercise, applying hot and cold compresses, changing shoes, massage, and applying arnica. Treatments to relieve back pain. 1. Exercises to relax muscles. It may seem counterintuitive to exercise when back pain is causing you grief, but the right exercises can help relieve your discomfort. It is always important to consult your doctor before starting exercise when you are in pain. But if you're in pain, this conversation is well worth it. First, you should keep in mind that not all exercises are beneficial in combating back pain. Avoid toe-touching exercises or sit-ups, as these can add to the stress on your spine rather than relieve it. Leg raises are another exercise to avoid when you are sick. If you don't have a strong core and are already experiencing pain, leg lifts may be too taxing on your body. Several types of exercises can be helpful when you need to relieve back pain. Partial crunches can help strengthen your core without putting too much pressure on that area. Slow, controlled wall sitting exercises can also be useful. Other repetitions to consider include successively bringing each knee to the chest, pelvic tilt, and swimming. 2. Use hot, cold compresses. Another effective method is heat and or cold compresses. This treatment is easy to perform and inexpensive. Certain types of pain may be relieved by applying heat and or cold. This may include back pain due to common causes such as spinal stenosis. If you have ongoing back pain directly from an injury such as a collision, fall, or sports injury, hot and cold therapy may be the solution. Other types of pain that can be minimized by using hot or cold products include muscle soreness from exercise and pulled muscles due to strain on the lower back. The type of pain you are experiencing will determine which heat and or cold therapy you choose. If the pain is severe, you should apply a cold compress followed by a warm compress. If the discomfort is chronic or subacute, continuous application of mild heat may be necessary. To relieve pain after exercise, you should apply ice. You can use commercially available hot and cold packs, or you can make your own cold and warm packs at home. 3. Stretch more. The following stretches may help relieve back pain. You should hold each stretch for 30 seconds or as long as you feel comfortable. Touching your toes. In addition to stretching your hamstrings, bending forward to touch your toes helps loosen up your lower back muscles. Cobra pose. Lie face down, place your hands next to your shoulders and gently lift your chest so that the top of your head is pointing toward the ceiling. Cat-cow pose. Starting on your hands and knees, you should slowly alternate between arching your back toward the ceiling and dipping it toward the floor. Child's pose. Sit on your heels with your knees hip-width apart, your head on the floor, and your arms extended in front of your head. 4. Change workstation. According to the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, proper workspace can help reduce back pain and other injuries. You need to make sure your computer screen is at eye level and your chair is at the correct height. If your job involves lifting objects, you should squat down and use your legs for support, not your back. When moving very heavy items, it is best to ask for help or use a cart. 5. Buy better shoes. The shoes you wear can definitely affect your back health and may actually be one of the best and most reliable back pain treatments. High heels are known to cause problems for many people. However, Simply wearing flat shoes is not necessarily the answer. Proper arch support and cushioning of the foot is very important, and doing so can significantly help with pain management. The fit of the shoes is also an important factor. If your shoes are too tight, foot pain can change the way you walk and put stress on your lower back. Likewise, if you wear shoes that are too big, you can compensate by changing the way you walk. Purchasing orthotic insoles is one way to maximize proper mobility and comfort and eliminate back pain. 6. Reduce stress. High levels of stress over long periods of time can harm various aspects of your health, including your back. Stress can affect the way you breathe, which can cause your back to tense up and tense up. Additionally, it is not uncommon for people to become less active when they are stressed. Unfortunately, living a more sedentary lifestyle is the exact opposite of what most people need. Sitting at your desk, Reclining on the couch, or lying in bed instead of stretching or exercising can ultimately take a toll on you. To reduce stress and reduce the discomfort it causes, it's a good idea to make some changes to your habits. Eating healthier foods can help reduce stress, and taking time to relax is also important. Spend quality time with yourself and your loved ones to keep your spirit strong even when life is difficult. This can indirectly lead to a healthy back. 7. Get better sleep. Getting enough rest is another important strategy for staying in good shape. 
If you don't sleep in an optimal position, you may become sleep deprived. Improper sleeping posture can also cause pain. Make sure your spine is in a neutral position and try to sleep on your back. If you can't sleep without lying on your side, you should alternate lying on your side periodically. Do not place pillows under your shoulders. Instead, it should be placed under the neck and head. Buying the right mattress is also important. If your waist is narrower than your hips, choose a relatively soft mattress. If your waist and hips are the same width, a firmer mattress may be appropriate. Most frequently asked questions. How long does back pain last? How long your back pain lasts depends on the cause. For example, back pain caused by strain from overwork usually goes away over a few days or weeks. Back pain caused by the weight of pregnancy usually eases after the baby is born. People who are obese may need to lose weight before the back pain is relieved. Back pain from pyelonephritis often eases within a few days of starting antibiotic treatment. People with more severe forms of back pain due to problems with the spine or spinal nerves may experience more persistent back pain that may last for months or even years. What causes back pain? Age is often the cause. Over time, the bones and joints in your back begin to change. Discs, structures that act as cushions between the bones of the spine, tend to wear out and sometimes even fragment. These structural changes sometimes cause pain. Another cause of back pain, although it occurs less frequently, is disc herniation. Sometimes a disc may be pushed out of the space between the bones and put pressure on the nerves where they branch off from the spinal cord. When the sciatic nerve, which runs down the buttocks and legs, is affected, the pain is called sciatica. However, most back pain is caused by simple overuse, unfamiliar activities, excessive lifting, or accidental strains or sprains. In most cases, the best course of action is to wait and see if the pain resolves on its own. If your pain does not improve after three to four days, you should see a doctor.